For the rapid prototype Flappy Bird clone, uh, we're going to do a couple things. Starting off, we're going to go to our game tab, and we're going to change our aspect ratio to 640 by 480. If you don't have that, just click plus and add it manually. Uh, then we're going to create our folder structure. So inside of assets, we're going to create a new folder, uh, one that we're going to call underscore scenes, one that we're going to call uh, scripts. We're going to create a folder for sprites. And sprites are sort of our uh, images that we use, that we have in the game. And we're going to create one more folder called prefabs. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, make sure that we don't lose all of our work. So we're going to go to file and we're going to save scene. And we're going to save it into our underscore scenes folder. And let's just go ahead and call this uh, level underscore zero one. We're only going to create one level in this game, but uh, usually we'll follow this convention in our other projects. So click uh, save and we can see that it is in our scenes folder. The next thing that we're going to do is go into our sprites folder and we are going to right click and we are going to import a new asset. And this is where we're going to import uh, the bird and pipe images uh, one at a time in order to ensure that we don't uh, break the path. Remember, we don't want to drag anything from outside of uh, Unity into folders. We want to make sure that we're importing and moving everything from within the editor. So we're going to add the bird, and we're going to add the pipe uh, to our sprites. For our game, the bird and the pipe are going to be more than just images. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is set these up as prefabs. In order to do that, we're going to go into our prefab folder, and we're going to right-click, and we're going to create a prefab. We're going to create a bird prefab, and we're also going to create a pipe prefab, because we are going to be calling these up uh, dynamically uh, from our, oops, let me make sure I spelled that right, from our uh, scripts. Now in order to add the bird image and the pipe image to uh, these prefabs, there's a couple of ways that we can do that. We can go to our sprites folder and we can drag the image up into our hierarchy right here, which will place this um, in our scene view. Uh, notice right here when I click on this, the transform is set to 0, 0, 0. Uh, if I were to uh, drag this into the scene view instead of the hierarchy. Notice that the transform is, is all kind of crazy, but I could always go ahead and reset. It's a good idea to reset your game objects uh, to the coordinates of zero, 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 um, just so that when you are adding other components to them, uh, they are going to be uh, placed relative to a standard coordinate, not something random or crazy. Now what we can do is we can go to our prefabs, and we can drag bird down into our bird prefabs. Now the image is going to be added as a sprite renderer to this prefab. We're going to do the same thing for our pipe prefabs. Let's go to sprites, let's drag it up into our hierarchy, go back to prefabs, and let's put the uh, pipe prefab, I'm sorry, the pipe image on the pri pipe prefab. Hard to say, quite the tongue twister. Uh, notice in our game view right here, uh, we can see that our two objects are one on top of each other. So if I click right here and I turn that out, we can see that our uh, Flappy Bird is right behind it. Um, I'm going to turn that back on. We'll worry about where the placement of these objects goes a little bit later. Also notice that our uh, pipe doesn't really fit in our screen, so we're going to take our main camera and we are going to uh, zoom in. We're going to change it from 5 to 2.4, and that's all we're going to do in this step. Besides the sprite renderer, we also need to add a few more components uh, to uh, these prefabs. So if I can click on uh, bird prefab, click add component, I am going to add right here a uh, rigid body. And this is going to be a rigid body 2D since we're creating a two dimensional game. This is going to uh, allow our uh, game object here to have uh, physics applied to it. Um, we can leave that at its default values. I am also going to add a component. Uh, this time I'm going to add a uh, box collider 2D. This is going to allow it to uh, you know, bounce off of something else and, and be more than just an image, but be an element that interacts with other things on the screen. Um, if I were to turn the pipe off, and if I were to press play, you would see because it's a rigid body, it now has uh, gravity applied to it, so it falls out of the screen. 
We are going to do the same thing for the pipes. Let me just turn this back on. But remember, we're adding the uh, Box Collider 2D and the Rigid Body 2D to the Prefab, not to uh, the game object that's in the hierarchy right here. So I'm going to click on Prefab right here. I'm going to click Add Component, and I will search for uh, Box Collider 2D. And I'm also going to add a uh, rigid body 2D, and I'm going to make sure to check is kinematic. Is kinematic is going to essentially disable the gravity uh, so it will not be influenced by it. Uh, and so now that our uh, prefabs are set up with uh, the proper components, uh, we can actually get rid of the bird in the pipe game objects from our hierarchy because we're going to be calling them up uh, dynamically in the scripts that we will write. Uh, we have almost all of the um, elements of the game that we need in order to start our scripting, but in order to uh, manage our game, uh, we're going to have to create a, a, an object that we can add that script to. Um, so what we're going to be doing is creating a, an empty game object, and we're just going to call this uh, Game Engine. You can either click right here and uh, make a change, game engine. It makes you press enter or else it won't uh, stick. Or you could uh, single click right here and you could, you could change it as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create three different scripts. We're gonna create one for the bird, we're gonna create one for the pipe, and we're gonna create the main script that we're going to attach to the game engine. So in order to do that, we're gonna go into our scripts folder right here and we're going to right click and we're going to create a C sharp script. So this first one we're going to call a bird script. Next we're going to create a new uh, C sharp script that we're going to call pipe script. Notice best practice for our C sharp has no spaces in between words. We're using uh, camel case in order to differentiate between uh, different words in the naming. And then finally, we'll right click, create one more C sharp script that we're going to call uh, main script. Now, in order to attach these scripts uh, to our game objects, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first grab our prefab right here, and we're going to add a component, and we're going to add a script and we're going to add the bird script, which would make sense for us right here. Uh, we'll do the same for the pipe prefab. We'll go to scripts, we'll add the pipe script, and then we're gonna do the same thing for game engine. We're going to add component script, we're going to add the main script. Alternatively, I could click right here, just so that I have this game object selected in my inspector, and I could go to scripts, and I could drag this script uh, into the inspector. It's going to achieve the same end. So once you have done that, uh, we're going to start off by writing the code in our main script. So just double click on your main script uh, file, and it should open up MonoDevelop where we can start writing. You'll see a preview right here in the inspector, uh, but once MonoDevelop opens up, you will see our text area that we can start coding. Now what I would recommend is that you sort of do a split screen with MonoDevelop on the right and then have the class website on the left. Now what you're going to do is you're going to, for each uh, script, is copy line for line. Now you'll notice that line one and two are already written for you. Um, public class, main script, mono behavior, uh, that's written for you. It, it's created uh, for you when you set up this game. But uh, void update we will not be using. Void start we will be. So make sure that you fill in the code uh, accordingly. Don't double up any of the code and make sure that you read each comment because what you're gonna see is that uh, the slashes are for you, the coder, so that you can understand what's going on right here. Uh, so you will see that when we uh, create a variable uh, called pipe object, we're going to be uh, doing so by assigning it a game object. And so when we get back into the Unity editor, you're gonna see that we have to drag uh, our pipe object or pipe prefab into this variable that we are setting up in our main script. So go ahead and copy uh, this line for line, word for word. Uh, go ahead then do the same for the bird script and then go ahead and do the same for the pipe script right here. Once you have done that, make sure that you build all 
check for bugs uh, and then go back to the Unity editor. Now what you're going to see once you're back in the editor is if we click on, for example, the game engine uh, object we have in our hierarchy, our script now has these variables that we created. I mentioned uh, the pipe object and the, the bird object, and we also have this other thing that says pipe hole. So what we have to do is we need to uh, assign the objects that uh, these uh, script items are referring to. So uh, if we look at prefabs, we can see that our bird prefab is going to fill in the space for the bird object, and our pipe prefab is going to fill in the space for the pipe object. And uh, for this pipe hole right here, a, a pipe hole of zero would be uh, no hole at all. So we're going to set this uh, to 1.2. By creating a public variable, it's something that we can change so that when we're play testing, we can modify this on the fly without having to go back into our code and change it there. So now we only have uh, two more variables that we need to set. If we click on our bird prefab and we scroll towards our uh, script, we need to set a jump force, which is uh, how high up in the air the bird is going to fly every time we click our mouse. We're going to set this to 200. And then we'll go to our pipe prefab and we will look at our script. And we need to set a pipe velocity. Now, uh, by default, that should be center, not uh, by default, but what we want to set it to is negative uh, 3.5. So when I press play, you'll see that our bird goes up like so. Our pipes are moving um, at negative 3.5. Uh, units. Now, if I were to adjust this to change this from negative 3.5 to, uh, let's say, uh, 8, you'll see that they start moving a lot quicker. And so one of the reasons that we create public uh, variables is so that we can adjust and play test on the fly without having to go in and adjust our code. I'm going to set this back to negative 3.5 because that is a, a pretty reasonable um, pace at which to play this game.